Padwans of Python, this is Prof G, and in this CircuitPython School video, we're going to learn to sense gestures using the Adafruit APDS9960 multi-sensor. And along the way, we'll find out that our Python code can detect a Jedi in our microcontroller. These aren't the droids you're looking for. So let's make something awesome. The Jedi animation is from the wonderful Star Wars sticker app available in the iOS App Store. The sound and images used in this video are strictly for educational, non-commercial purposes. Star Wars and related characters, images, and media are trademarks of the Walt Disney Corporation. Do not use commercially without permission from the firm. So if you've been following CircuitPython School, here's a look at the wiring we're using. If you have a board with a Stemma QT connector, you're all set. Just use a Stemma QT cable to plug in your sensor. But if you're using a board without a Stemma QT connector, like the Arduino Nano RP2040 that my students are using, then you've got to wire up a connector. Now for this particular board, the pinouts are blue to A4, yellow to A5. Make sure that your power is to 3.3 volts and ground to GND. And even though this board doesn't have a speaker, you can use any speaker with an RCA jack. Just clip a cable from ground to the sleeve of the RCA jack and clip the tip of this RCA jack to your audio in pin. I'm using D3 for this Arduino build. Now if you have a different board with different pinouts, just make sure that you update the code accordingly. And in an earlier CircuitPython School video, we learned how to use this sensor for proximity sensing, but now we're going to use it to sense gestures. CircuitPython libraries allow for the detection of moving a hand a couple of inches above the sensor, and the sensor can detect left, right, up, and down motions. So to use the sensor, first import APDS9960 from Adafruit underscore APDS9960 dot APDS9960. That sounds a bit redundant, but that's what we need for the code that we're writing. Now, as mentioned in earlier videos, this board communicates with our microcontroller using a communication mechanism called I squared C or I2C. And this is also the communication mechanism used by the Stemma QT connector standard. So we just need to set up I squared C in our code the same way we've done before. We want to declare an I squared C object with board.i2c, open and close parens. But if you use a quirky board like an Adafruit Cutie Pie RP2040, you need to import bus IO and then set I squared C equal to bus IO dot and in parentheses board.scl1 all caps and board.sda1 all caps. Then use the I squared C object that you just created in either case to create an APDS9960 object. I'm going to call mine multi underscore sensor since I prefer my variables to have understandable names, not Elon Musk baby names. Then with the multi sensor set up, you have to set both the enable underscore proximity and enable underscore gesture properties to true. If you forget to set the proximity property, you're not going to crash, but your code won't work. Then to get the sensor reading, just check the multi sensors dot gesture open and close paren method. You don't have to pass anything between the parens, and this should return one of four integers. 1, 2, 3, 4 for detecting up, down, left, and right respectively. And now you should know enough to make this work, so why don't we start off with a challenge and then I'll show you a solution. So this is the Jedi Mind Tricks Challenge, and my students will use the famous clips from Star Wars where Obi-Wan Kenobi waves a hand in front of stormtroopers to avoid the confiscation of our favorite droids. My students have their sound files for the course in the droids folder at bit.ly slash circuitpython school files. You can download whatever files you want to use on the internet, make sure you're using them for non-commercial purposes though, and to complete the challenge, set up the APDS9960 sensor to detect gestures, and if a left gesture is detected, play not the droid droids.wave, and if a right gesture is detected, play no ID.wave. You don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. So why don't you pause, give this a shot. I know you can do it based on what we've been learning in the earlier videos. And when you're ready, let's compare answers. So this is my gesture sensing code, and I'm going to import time, comma, board, and from audio core, I'm going to import wave file, capital wave, capital file, and from Adafruit underscore APDS9960 dot APDS9960, I'm going to import, and in all caps, APDS9960. Then I'm going to set up my gesture sensor. I'll create an I2C variable equal to board dot capital I to capital C, open and close parens. Remember, this is going to be different if you're using a cutie pie. Then I'm going to call my sensor multi underscore sensor. I'll set that equal to, in all caps, APDS9960. That's the class. Passing in I2C, the object that I just created above. Then I'm going to set multi sensor dot enable underscore proximity equal to true and multi sensor dot enable underscore gesture equal to true. Then I'm going to set up audio out. It should say audio out, not audio bus IO. And remember, we covered this in earlier lessons. Some boards support audio IO, while others support audio PWM IO. This little chunk of code should work on either of those board types. So we'll try colon from audio IO import capital A audio capital O out. 
accept import error, capital I, capital E, colon, and then if that doesn't work, what we do is we try colon from audio PWMIO import PWM all caps, then capital audio, capital out, as capital audio, capital out. Now, if we still get an error there, then we have accept import error, capital I, capital E with a colon, and we'll print out on the next line, this board does not support audio out. Then we're going to configure audio out, and we're going to set the path where the sounds can be found. So we'll create a variable called audio and set that equal to audio out, capital A, capital O, passing in board.d3. So that's the pin where I have the tip of my audio out jack clipped to. Make sure you change this if you're using a different configuration. And my path is going to be equal to, in double quotes, droids with a slash at the end. Remember, the slash at the end divides the folder named droids from the file name that we're going to pass in in just a bit. Then we're going to use the play sound function that we've set up and used in lots of other CircuitPython school videos. So we'll define that def play underscore sound passing in file name colon with open and in parentheses that's path plus file name comma in double quotes rb. We're going to read in the binary first close parens as wave underscore file colon. Then we'll create a variable to hold the wave converted data. We'll call that wave set that equal to wave file that's capital W capital F and in parentheses pass in the wave underscore file we just created above and then we can say audio dot play and in parentheses wave that's the file that we just converted to a wave then while audio dot playing colon pass that just means wait until the file is done playing so most of this is set up that we've seen before and our while true loop is going to be really easy first we just get the multi sensors gesture value so we'll put that in a variable called gesture set that equal to multi underscore sensor dot gesture open and close parens and then we'll say if gesture equals equals three colon that means we've swiped left we'll print left and we'll play underscore sound not dash the dash droids dot wave then if the gesture equals equals four colon, we'll print right and we'll play sound not dash ID dot wave. Then I'll delete any extra characters, open the serial console, save this to my circuitpy volume as code.py. It looks like we don't have any errors. Let's try this out. So here we go, swipe right. You don't need to see his identification. Nice Jedi mind trick. Let's try swiping left. Oh, and sometimes the gesture sensor doesn't work. These aren't the drawings you're looking for. There we go. You don't need to see his identity. All right, looking good. These aren't the drawings you're looking for. So excellent work, Python Padawan, getting the APDS9960 multi-sensor working on recognizing gestures. And remember, everyday low-cost sensors aren't perfectly reliable, as you've probably seen in any public restroom where you couldn't get paper towels to dispense or faucets to turn on when you wanted them to. But I think your Python-powered Jedi mind tricks are awesome. That's quite a skill, and there are more great skills to come, so stay tuned to our playlist on our channel and keep on coding.